We're gonna do a uh, flip that thrift and I'm gonna be spilling some tea. So you're gonna have to be watching for more details. from Leah Noel Design Co. I am headed out to go to my favorite thrift stores and see if I can find anything cool to repurpose today. now. Welcome to Flip That Thrift with, we have Amy from A, Amy from AJ's Vintage Designs and Bianca from Lotus Theory Designs and I am Leah from Leah Noel Design Co. Um, and you guys are used to hanging out with me on Tuesday nights, but Amy and Bianca have decided to join me tonight because um, we thought it would be fun to do a show called Flip That Thrift. And as you saw, we all went out, we got some thrifted items. And we are going to flip them here tonight with you while we spill the tea just for <laughs> fun. And um, I have all kinds of questions in my little teapot here that I'm going to be pulling out and asking Bianca and Amy and myself and you too. So um, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to Amy and she's going to show us her thrifted items that she's going to be working on tonight. And uh, we'll go from there. So Amy, what you working on tonight? Well, I've got four projects. Can you hear me okay? Yes. We can. Okay. So I have four projects and I got a silver platter and it's only 99 cents. I painted it with uh, French linen, a little bit of chocolate and uh, sawmill gravy. Nice. And that is going to be getting the magnolia transfer on it. Ooh, that's that's one project. Then I found this wine bottle. This is a wine bottle. <laughs> <laughs> took me a long time to get. Took me a long time to drink it. No, I'm kidding. Um, it took me a long time to get the labels off of it, but I got this for four dollars, and I'm gonna be putting the Latin floral transfers on this. Mm. Oh, pretty! Mm -hmm. And then I got a message board that was brand new for five dollars and ninety nine cents, and I'm gonna be. I I did a wash of chocolate on it because they had it. It had a wash on it, it was silver, a silver wash. So I was like, look weird. So I put a chocolate wash over it to make it look like real wood. And I'm gonna be putting the sunflower transfers on that. And then my big project is I've got a chair for $9.99. That's why I'm sitting in front. <laughs> and I painted it with aubergine. Ooh, so aubergine and oh, yeah. peony, plum crazy and fluff. And I'm gonna be putting the Alice in Wonderland transfers on that. That's a pretty chair. Yeah. It's so pretty, it. Amy. So, that's my project. Awesome. All right, Bianca, show us your projects. Well, mine aren't as impressive as Miss Amy. My goodness. <laughs> you really put both dressing. elbows in. Uh, well, there's there's that. But we're not working on that today. But it is it is here. It's There's a little tiny peak of it. That's all you get. That's all you get. Oh, <laughs> more. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you'll see it soon enough. Um, but I did pick up, I got a tissue box holder, okay? 
So I worked on this live. Uh, for those of you who watched my live last week, I painted this live. So I'm gonna do the steampunk transfer on this, which is, <laughs> which is empty. So that's gotta be somewhere. One of these other two. <laughs> I'm like, why is that so light? That's um, funny. Oops. Right. Anyway, so, right, that'll be nice. And then I have this. I was going to do a whole thing. Never did finish it. But I'm still going to slap a transfer on it anyway. And down here, I have a mailbox that I just painted white. And I thought that would be cute with maybe Latin, uh, not Latin floral. I'm so sorry. Um, floral romance. Cute. Nice. Very good. Are you going to actually put that uh, mailbox outside? No, I have one of those collective mailboxes that are at the end of my street. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, you know, Arizona neighborhoods and, you know, the, yeah. it's probably good to the post, you know, man and woman that has to be out in this heat. They just go to the one box and drop everything off. So sadly, go. I can't, but I would have. Yeah, that would have been nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'll show you guys my project. So. Um, I'll show you a finished one first. I have three that I'm going to be working on, but I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys. I just finished this the other day. Um, with the sunflower transfer, I was going to use the succulent transfer, but then I thought, why not use the sunflower one? So this Pretty. is just a jewelry box. Um, and then I have another little jewelry box I picked up for $250 at the Goodwill. Um, and I have a coat of sea glass on here. Um, and then I have this box, which you guys saw in the video. I already started it a little bit. This has a uh, sun kissed and silk. And then, um, I, you know, use some of the hurricane gray over it for a steampunk look. I'm going to be using the steampunk transfer. And Amy, Good. I saw that you used red with your steampunk the other day. And I R thought, rusty oh my nail, gosh, rusty nail. Okay. Yeah. I thought I might actually add some red because I love Do the it. way that that looked on it yours. It was so yeah. pretty, Amy. It's well, really pretty. well done. And then I have this. This is kind of cool. This is um, this is going to be a succulent stand, and I'm going to put the succulent transfer on it. And then I'm going to paint the inside bright, and then succulents are going to be dripping out of it, and succulents are going to be on it, and it's going to hold succulents, and it's going to be just Mr. Succulent Man over here. So that's awesome. <laughs> Those are my projects. One. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. That one, the, the, the guy at uh, the restore talked me into buying that one. <laughs> why did my mind go somewhere so bad like i need to go sit in the prayer closet or something why mr, mr. succulent man really <laughs> <laughs> all my furniture is i always call them she's and for some reason this one this, this one's gonna be mr succulent man when i go somehow <laughs> mm -hmm. That's funny. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> let's, let, let's just get started. <laughs> so we have a lot of people that are joining us. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, we'll get the show on the road, but let's just take a minute to say hi to some of the viewers. We have Amber. Hello. Um, we have, is it Myra from Costa Rica? Hello. Hello. May from Kentucky. Um, a lot of comments about um, the thrifting. So uh love to shop the thrift stores get some great finds um mm -hmm. can't wait to see what your ladies come up with yes Brittany, that was me i put that intro together <laughs> Brittany's so Brittany, Brittany's always here thanks for being here Brittany. yeah i know right you are awesome. you are a great a cheerleader <laughs> <laughs> yeah lots of other hellos so just so we, we know we are watching on the dixie bell facebook page leah's facebook page my Facebook page. So we have Leah Noel Design Co. and we have Lotus Siri Designs. And we are also on YouTube streaming live. For example, hi Shelly Field from Dallas who's watching from YouTube. Um, there's a couple of people watching from YouTube. Hello. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Hey guys. So with that said, um, yeah, I'm done. Take over. If you guys have any questions, I will keep an eye on the, the comments here. Um, yeah. I'm going to get right. I'm going to spill some tea. So um, I'm going to go first. <laughs> I'm going to pull a question out. We'll see what we have here. Okay. And we want you guys to answer as well. So oh, I'm going to go with, um, who wants to go, who wants to answer this one first? Matters what it is. <laughs> what are you really lazy about? Okay. I'll admit something. 
<laughs> just my comes out swinging. Tell us, husband, Amy. Yeah, my husband said, since I started doing furniture, my hygiene has gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to wake, I used to wake up in the morning, do my hair, put on my makeup every day, pick out my outfit. Now I wake up, I brush my teeth, uh, think about taking a shower, run right out to the garage and start working. And I always so have you to think, think about taking a shower, but you don't actually take the shower. <laughs> I have to think about the fact that this is a live day, am I live today? If I'm live, I better shower. I, wa I wash my hair on, like, I, I do plan hair washing around Facebook Lives. <laughs> That's that funny. is That is funny, Amy. Um, Oversharing. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I was going to say, I do admire your candor. Thank you for your transparency. How many of you guys can relate to that? Because, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I want to know. Hello. If somebody else admit, you guys are too funny. Uh, Beth, Beth Jolly says, Amy, too funny, says the Furniture Duchess. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here we go. Amy, now I don't feel so bad. You're not alone, says Ashley. On exactly. See? Yes. yes. Look at you. That That's is funny. funny. So other lazy uh, people say, in answer to your question, the viewers are tuning in and joining the conversation as well, which is great. Finishing my projects on time. Patty says, oh, business yeah. paperwork. <laughs> yeah. Anne can relate to Amy. Stacy Davis can relate to Amy. Miss Marilyn, she said, me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> Same, okay, okay. See, I might relate to Amy, but I don't know that I'd admit that. So everybody give Amy a round of applause for Ooh, being Amy. so honest and transparent. That's why we love you, girl. You are just, you just put it the right out there. The only thing that's a guaranteed every day is that I brush my teeth. That's the only guarantee my husband gets. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, so what was the question? <laughs> what are you really lazy about? Um... Oh, what am I lazy about? Um, oh, the other like know. nothing. I'm just, uh, I'm my, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I have everything together. Everything yes, is together. All the time. All the time. No, um, probably cleaning my house. <laughs> but I don't know if that counts because I'm so busy with what I do. But yep. and then when I'm not doing what I do, then I'm tired. Or I have yeah. other things I need to do, so I don't know if that counts. Can I um? Can that I pass? Counts. Can I pass? That that counts. We'll count <laughs> that. Back to you. We'll, we'll count, count that. that. Okay. All right. Yeah. What about you, Miss Leah? Oh, cooking. Just I don't feed anybody. In fact, Reagan's in there. She's like, "Mom, can I make ravioli?" I'm like, "Well, if you don't make it for yourself, no one's gonna make it for you." So <laughs> <laughs> you better make it. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of frozen pizza around here and noodles. Yeah. I'm lucky. My husband does all the cooking. What? Um, you are lucky. Yes. Yeah. And he is a great cook. So I am oh, lucky. That's I, nice. I don't do any cooking. I just don't do anything, but seems seems I don't do anything but paint anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is your favorite thing that your husband cooks? Uh, salmon. He makes amazing salmon and vegetables. Ooh, Ooh I'm coming. I'm oh, coming. Yeah. That sounds delicious. My favorite. I love seafood. Isn't that a question? Is that a question? I'm just putting that out there. I'll answer that now. My favorite food is seafood. Seafood? <laughs> yeah. That is a question. I didn't yeah. pull it from the teapot, though. You cheated. Oh, I cheated. I'm so Cheater. sorry. Shame. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. shame. Yes. Shame, shame, shame. That um, was my Game of Thrones reference. Game of Thrones fans out there, shame. Yeah. Shame. Holler shame. if you know what I'm talking about. Shame. Yes. yes. Never, I've never seen it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so let's go into that. What's your favorite TV show? Okay. Okay. You know what's sad? Okay. My favorite TV show, and people are going to laugh, is uh, Mystery, uh, Mystery She Wrote. Oh. It, it's a Hallmark, you know, late night Hallmark. Yeah. It's an old TV show with uh, Jessica Fletcher, the author, <laughs> Murder, She Wrote. That Murder, is, I, She Okay, wrote. right. That's what that's I was thinking. It's not the same. That, well, it's, it's the old one. I watched the reruns. Um, it comes on at midnight, and it runs all night long, every night. So I stay up till midnight so I can at least get my one episode every day. <laughs> oh, wow. 
You know they make DVRs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite TV show, Peaky Blinders, 100% favorite. My so favorite. a friend told me I needed to watch that, and I was reminded that you told me that I, you watched I that. I told you like eighteen times, Bianca. I watch know, Blinders. and and so now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch it. They're saying they can't see what I'm doing, and you can't because I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> 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 yeah. <Mer> <laughs> see, that's a great show, Amy says. Tanya. Uh, Patience says her husband makes the best peanut butter balls. AJ, do you sleep? Exactly, right? <laughs> that says Game of Thrones. Yes. Game of Thrones is pretty good. Uh, I've never Harry. seen Game of Thrones, Peaky Blinders. I've never seen any of them. Well, we're going to uh, have to get you. But you've seen every one of Murder, She Wrote. Uh -huh. yep. My, All my right, let me move doesn't... back doesn't leave HGTV or uh, the Hallmark channel at night. There's only two channels I watch. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite TV show is Kathleen Nolan, if you're watching. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, now I feel like I'm the only one who has a new TV show. Like, we're going off of 90s TV shows. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally on Xena. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it's gotta Zena be Zena. Zena, yeah. Zena is my all time favorite yep. show. Yep, that was a great show. Um, especially and for Buffy the Vampire. I wasn't allowed to watch that. That was, oh. my, yeah, my mom, my mom, Girl, what was on? scary. Got so I grew up on that. Oh, oh first transfer geez, on. you're fast. Ooh, nice. I didn't nice, know it was nice. a race. Let me, let I know, me put right? some elbow grease into it. I'm trying to hurry up on mine, too. I'm trying to use I the know. scraps from, I'm trying to use the scraps from mine. Um, from, because I've used a lot of the steampunk and I still have a lot left. And the ones I have left are like these and the little goggles. So I'm trying to use them up. All right, let's spill some more tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As all long right. as it ain't coffee or alcohol, I'm fine. We'll, all spill, right. we'll spill some tea. <laughs> I got I got a good one. How do you feel about redheads? <laughs> I put that in there because my husband's a redhead. Oh, well, well then well then we love redheads. We love redheads. We all love right, them. Let me let me let me get another one. My aunt all my aunts are redheads, and I get I have red in my hair naturally. I love redheads. They're my favorite people. They're feisty and they're kind, but they're like sarcastic. I've never met a non-sarcastic redhead. I just think they're pretty. <laughs> they are. I wanted, I, I was, I was hoping one of my kids got red hair, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking it skips a generation. So I'll probably have redheaded grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> one that's, can only hope. That's, that's what we're hoping. That's what Kurt told me the other day. He's like, I hope we get redheaded grandchildren. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, let's let's get some more tea coming. Okay, what is the most? What is something surprising about your past? <sighs> well, ooh, I've got one. Um, All right, like, let's no, I'm hear. Have to think. <laughs> well. Even though I wear baseball caps, t-shirts, and flip-flops or Converse at all times. And you I don't actually, shower, right? And I don't shower. <laughs> in college, I was actually runner-up Miss Iowa. So Miss I was in a, Iowa. I was in a I was going for a scholarship for college, but yep, there she is. That's the eighties hairdo. <laughs> but I was Miss Runner-up for uh, for Iowa. I love it. Uh, you go, girl. Look at you. Yes. <laughs> I love it, Amy. I do, too. And That's I can great. totally see it. Now, did you live in Iowa? I, I was born and raised in Iowa. 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 Okay. Born and raised, went to college in Iowa and everything. Wow. <laughs> I'm an owl girl. So what did you, uh, viewers, what did you think of that picture of Amy? Let's just show it one more time for good measure, right? <laughs> yes, let's right. see it. Look at her. I love that. 
Okay, how about you guys? What's how your cool. answer? Uh, here we go. Hold on. Let's stick to you for a sec. I can't believe that. You're so beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Look at those bangs. That hair, Amy. Mm. Big. And, and <laughs> Sheila, always the sassy one, Miss Sheila. And now she doesn't bathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that's okay. We'll follow it up with a love note from Ann West. Amy, I'm not surprised. You're an awesome lady. Aw, thanks, Ann. What? Ann, Ann, cheerleader for Denver Broncos. You go. Ooh, okay. Mm hmm. Va va boom, <laughs> says Yvonne. Fancy. <laughs> the hair. People love your hair. It was big. Very big. It was, it was big. That was in, though. We were talking about that earlier at the time that, you know, we look back and it's like, okay, that's goofy. But at the time, it, that was in. In the 80s, you always look like you ran into a wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you don't look like that, you're not doing it in the 80s right. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a lot older than both of you two. So, <laughs> well, actually, speaking of hair, let's show Miss Leah's. <laughs> there it is. Uh, there it is. Oh, she gosh. looks like a news reporter or a weather girl on CNN or. Or, or the some national news syndicate. She looks like a professional, classy uh, journalist. I that was uh, that was my Mary Kay days right there. I, I was wondering what's on your chest. Are those um... those are like bars? So I was wearing my sales director's coat. Um, I actually I did pretty good in Mary Kay. I I did actually pretty good with it. Uh, but those are like bars. Like how much sales she had for. Um, whatever quarter it was so it was like i think she did we did like half a million that year wow yeah wow. yeah i was i was pretty good at mary Kay, but not my passion not my passion but it was right. fun well hey you got a good picture out of the deal i did i got a, i got a lot of good pictures so tell us about the hair that is my i had that haircut forever we know what that haircut's called <laughs> 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 I'm glad I grew it out, but I, no, I, I had that haircut for a very long time. I like you as a brunette school. better. Mm -hmm. Not catch. that that looks bad, but oh, look, no, at, look at you. Yes. Kurt's mm -hmm. aunt, his godmother, went to the salon that I worked at. And after I dyed my hair dark, she goes, you know, I'm glad you dyed your hair. You, you always looked rough as a blonde. <laughs> Rough. I'm like, your mother-in-law said that. Thank you. No, my uh, my my husband's aunt, his godmother. <laughs> she oh. goes, you always looked rough as a, you always looked rough as a blonde. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's funny. I think I need I more transfers. I don't. So I don't have a a picture with like bad hair. Okay. I, I just and that that sounds really like oh I always have it together. I just, my hair is curly. And so I never was able to do some of those looks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't, I can't share my hair pictures, but I can share one that I wanted to, that I put in here just because I thought it was kind of interesting because as you said, Leah, uh, I ran into Charles Barkley at the mall. I think that was like seven or eight years ago. Wow. And wow. I wanted to share that because people are always surprised at my height when they meet me in person. I'm six foot tall. Wow. And I didn't know that. Next, yeah. So if you look at him, you know that Charles Barkley is very tall. Um, he, he looks normal. Or I look normal. I don't know. But when I say normal, just, you know, of average height. And, and I got to tell you a quick story. I sent that. I took, a, took that picture at the time my husband and I were dating. And I sent that to him and he got so jealous, silly boy. <laughs> he wanted to meet Charles Barkley too, huh? Uh, yeah, I think he was like afraid I gave him my phone number or something, which, come on. That's no. funny. You know, I, uh, yeah, not at all. Anyway, let's, let's take a look at the comments. Amy, I have a question for you, says Patty. Are you are you the one who rides the Harley in your garage? <laughs> we have a Harley, yeah. We have a um it is a we used to have a Heritage Classic Special. This is a Speak Glide, I believe. 
but I, I don't, don't know what it. any of that means. I don't drive it. It's my husband's Harley and I have to stay 10 feet from it at all times when painting. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, how funny. Do we take just the pose on we, it? We used to take the trip up to Sturgis, and Sturgis is like Halloween for adults. The chaps, the vests, the bathing suits. <laughs> the whole, it's, it's a Halloween for adults on motorcycles. <laughs> so Sheila says, we want to know what shampoo Leah uses. <laughs> Swab. Swab. That's a really? question. It is. I, you know what? I did switch to... I gosh, I switched to something at um, Sally's that's like a little better for your hair, but I've always just used Suave. My hair would fall out if I used Suave. A suave is the bomb. That's oh like my god! I stuff. I spend so much money on a quality hair product because I have curly hair and it's just naturally drier and brittle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Not jealous. me. I I hair just it just is what it is. My husband uses my good conditioner sometimes. I'm like, what are you doing? How dare you? <laughs> you better use that VO5 or whatever it is. <laughs> Suave is a step up from VO5. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if there, if you can get a step up from Suave, <laughs> Amy, that's so pretty. Coming along. Oh, that is pretty. Uh, Stacy says, Bianca and Leah, so what don't we know about you two? Oh, yeah, we yeah. did kind of gloss over that question, huh? I was hoping you guys would forget. So I, don't uh, know I, I don't know if I have anything. I don't what was I the question have... again? I forgot. How did you work? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what What is something surprising about your past, Bianca? Oh, my past. Okay, that's what it was. Um. Uh... I don't know. I know I one for you. Bianca. I feel like I feel like, huh? I know one for you. I bet you a lot no. of people don't know that you sing. Don't you, don't you like sing in a band for your church? I mean, you're like like yeah, a, but like a, you have a band. Yeah, but, but that's a lot of people current. don't know that about you. And I thought it was awesome when I heard you sing. You're like really good. Yeah. Oh well, thank you. You are very good. Bianca's well, multi-talented. She also is really good at writing. <laughs> Well, thank you. I'm like turning red. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. My past is, uh, I, I really, I really don't know. I don't know. My past was rough, but here I am. Can't hold me down. So I'm actually an inspiration story. But if I were to get into it, then it would be, it would be a tearjerker. And I don't know if everybody has their tissues ready. <laughs> So, how about you, Leah? Something about your past? I don't know if I, I just, I was just a really, really, really bad kid. Um, other than that, no, nothing. Um, but maybe something people don't know about me is um, I'm a hunter. I hunt and I fish nice. and I mushroom hunt. Uh, and I do those things when I'm not painting. I take one weekend out of every year to go deer hunting with my dad. Um, yeah. Wait, so what is mushroom hunting? Like um, morel mushrooms and lion's mane, um, uh, like chicken of the woods, like where you like just go out in the woods and you look for mushrooms. And I didn't go this year. Uh, I just was, have been too busy. Uh, but mushroom hunting is basically like what it is. It's just you go out in the woods and you look for mushrooms. And I have secret spots that I'll never tell anybody. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, people are always like, well, where do you find them? I'm like, ha ha, I will None of your you. business. Yeah. So, and I, I, I mean, you just listed off a bunch of names for mushrooms. So uh -huh. that's yeah. a thing. I it had no idea. It is a thing. It's, yeah, we're, like right now is morel season. Um, and that's like my husband and I, we're always, we always laugh. We're like, we could never get divorced because we would just like, we'd see each other at our morel spots every year. Cause only him and I know where our morel spots are. We don't even tell our kids. <laughs> oh, how funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So mushroom hunting is kind of one of those fun things that we do together. But we didn't do cool. any this year. He went by himself, but we haven't, I haven't done, it's just been busy. It's been a busy year. So 
let's see what everybody else is saying. Do you guys know what mushroom hunting is? Am I the only person on the planet that's heard of this? I don't know that you would do it in Arizona. Yeah. Do you eat the mushrooms? I, I oh, want to yeah. know. Yes. So you must, you have to be pretty well versed on what mushroom will kill you and what won't. <laughs> oh yeah. We, I have books. Um, my dad used to take me and like morels are pretty easy. I mean, you could find a false morel, but um, no, like we find, yeah, we find a lot of mushrooms when we actually go. I'm kind of missing it now. I'm kind of feeling like I've cheated myself by not going this year. Huh. I but mushroom hunting thing. is a thing. Okay, who wants to spill more tea? Uh, yeah. Sure, go ahead. I, these right. People are saying that they knew about it. So in West Virginia, I believe it's called shrooming, says Karen. Ooh, I want to go to West Virginia. That sounds more fun than mushroom hunting. I'm going to tell, but people, yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, I got a question for you. Did you go to prom? No. No, why not? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I am a high school dropout with what? a college degree. So there's, there's, I guess, wow. one way to answer the previous question. Yep, I am a high school dropout. I was emancipated at 16 years old. Again, it's, you know, there's this whole story there. Don't feel bad for me because it's all a great testimony. Yeah. Um, but... I am a high school dropout, and as an adult, I, um, in t well, in my 20s anyway, I don't know if 20s is considered an adult, <laughs> but um, I went back to school and I put myself through school as a single mom. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. And my degree has gotten me absolutely nowhere, but at least <laughs> I can say that I am a yeah. college graduate and not a high school dropout anymore. But that's why I didn't go to prom. Wow, that's pretty cool. It is. Amy, did you go to prom? Yes, I did. And I was, like I said, <laughs> I'm an 80s girl. And I remember my prom dress was like a big mushroom. <laughs> it was just uh, I wanted. The, style, the style back then. I don't know what, everything had to be like big and exaggerated. It was really, that is really funny. Short. It showed a lot of leg, but it was a big mushroom short dress. It was, it was... <laughs> How fun! Yeah. Oh my big, goodness, I bet you were hair. beautiful. Oh, okay. So hold on, hold on. We got to look at these comments. So, Let's... yes, um, no to prom, yes to prom. The mushroom hunting happens at Kroger, says Renee. <laughs> 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 no to prom, no to prom. Um, let's see. Yes, Sheila. Yes. Um, so I guess this is a thing. Me and my family found hundreds of, you call them morels? Morels. Oh, this yeah. This year. And it, wow. I, okay. I'm going to come visit and we're going to I will hunting. give my address out if you want to send me morels. Okay. Look, look. <laughs> Confession time. Barbara. Yes. And then I slipped off to Mexico with my boyfriend. Oh, man. Barbara. Ooh. Thank you, Yvonne. Shrooming sounds like what you do after you find. And that's what I thought. I'm like, here in Arizona, shrooming is a whole different thing. Well, probably I, a little more fun, too. I, I wouldn't know. That is not for me. Uh, Tanya says, no problem for her. Thank you. We've got a lots of go, Bianca. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like this one. This is why you're a hard worker and a boss bitch. Oh, I said it. Ooh. Um, I had to say it. She is. I had to say she it. She is. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. What color was your prom dress, Amy? Black and turquoise. Really? Oh, yeah. I would love to see a picture of that. Hopefully I think we all would. Just we post should, it to your page. We should do like a prom inspired, like, Furniture challenge where we paint, <laughs> yes. where we paint furniture inspired by our prom dresses. I still okay. have my prom dress. I might even put I, it on. I probably wouldn't fit in it, but I don't have I mine. But I, I, that would be fun. That would be fun. That would be fun. Except I didn't go to prom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just pick a prom dress. All right, I'd go to like Goodwill or something, and yeah. or Salvation Army, and find one. So I went to prom, but I had to go by myself because my boyfriend was 30. Um, 
and he wasn't, <laughs> he was too old to go. Who yeah, is your now my husband? <laughs> <sighs> you oh, know, I know. Him, Bianca. I know your boyfriend. Your thirty is Kurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Fine. And then, and then we were in the car going to DC's, which is like this country line dancing place. And his brother was a year older than me, so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna ask him if he'll go to prom with me, right? So I have a prom date. I'll just go with Kurt's brother. Well, the girl who was in the car with us asked him, and I'm like, what the heck? Like, you can ask anyone. Like. I wanted to go with his brother because that would just be right, you know, like just go with his brother because he was of age. But nope, I had to go all by myself to prom. Sh Shelly says Bianca and Amy's faces were her I, Right. I mean, it was it was so scandalous. I'm like, I need more details. I stopped transferring and everything. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Not that scandalous. He's still right, around. I, I know. I'm like, how? How do you like have a 30 year old boyfriend when you're going to prom and Moved somehow it's senior still year? super Disney? I don't know how you manage that. I do. Yeah, I became a gosh. Yeah, pretty much became like stepmom at 18, and here we are. Well, you know, when it's right, it's right. It worked out. I still like him. And I still like, I've I still met like him a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say, like, you guys have a really cool dynamic. Meeting you uh, and him and watching you guys interact, it's a really good. You guys are friends. <laughs> friends. Yeah. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Definitely. I am all for the older guys. My all husband, right. My husband's older than me, but only by six years. Oh, hey. Hey, if you guys have prom pictures after this live is over, I want to see them in the comments. I love yes. prom pictures. So, Amy, your husband's six years older, too? Yes, I was actually uh, his landlord when we met. I bought, my, I bought my first house when I was 19, and I was going to college, and uh, he, we, we worked at the same company, and he needed a, a room to rent, and I rented out bedrooms to college students, so I rented a bedroom to him, and we were engaged uh, a year later. And does he still wow. pay you rent? Does he, he still pay rent? rent? Once, we, once we got engaged, oh. we stopped paying rent. <laughs> Man, I was gonna say that would be a sweet deal. Yeah, but well, we've been married uh, tw almost almost twenty nine years. Wow! Congratulations! Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. I awesome. got married late. I was thirty. I was thirty something. I just realized I almost gave my stuff away. Mm -mm. <gasps> I was in my thirties when I got married. <laughs> I was um, twenty. I was twenty two when we got married because I'm fifty. I'm fifty now. Yeah. Wow. I was I was 20 and I called him and I said, Hey, let's get married today. He said, Okay. All married. right. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so Cynthia, uh, but if you would have Bianca, what color I'm I'm assuming you're asking about my uh, prom dress if I would have. It would have been purple. Of course. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know it would have been purple. Um Yeah, she knew what she wanted. It's hard to get this transfer on the glass. It keeps them wanting to move my bottle. Oh, no. All right. You guys want to spill some more? Yes. I'm just checking the comments. So go for it. Okay. Oh, Let wait. Me... Hold on. Let's let's. Patty's got one. This is for okay. all, three of the, th th blah, all three of you. What kind of vehicle do you drive? Who wants to go first? I drive a Land Rover. Fancy. Fancy. You fancy girl. It was a gift for my husband on Mother's Day last year. Nice. Oh, fancy husband. I have, well, I guess I have, I have too many cars. In fairness, I'm selling one to my daughter. Ooh. Um, who, by the way, is graduating high school. I'm all excited. Congratulations. Well, Congratulations. She graduated high school today. Yes. Wow. Mm hmm um so first first child or first person in my family to graduate in four generations and i don't know what happened before that because then we start getting into the 1800s <laughs> but, wow um, yeah um so that's exciting that's a huge uh, accomplishment it, it is it is but um so she's buying i have a scion xv she's buying that i have also i have a honda pilot i have a dodge ram and a dodge charger okay and i mostly drive 
the pilot, but I do love my Ram. It's an old, old girl. You saw her, Leah, right? Yes, Gertrude I did. is her name. Yeah, she's 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 good to you though. She's okay, a you good drive girl. a Dodge Charger. I got a question for you. You drive a Dodge Charger. Those are like muscle cars, right? How many speeding tickets have you had, Bianca? I don't. I don't. None. None. Mm -mm. Oh, I'd be so tempted if I had a Dodge oh, I Charger. Speed. I just, oh, yeah, I was just going to say, because those things are muscle cars. They no, I power. speed. I just speed smart. <laughs> <laughs> I got my radar. I always, okay, so I always tell, this is maybe some advice for everybody. I have this rule, okay, and I've told my husband this. I've told my daughter this. If you're going to break the law, break only one. So, for example, if I'm going to oh. speed, I'm going to use my blinkers. I'm going to wear my seatbelt, right? Yeah. So, I like that. I like that a lot. And, and I keep an eye out for, and I don't speed a whole lot. I'm usually maybe, I don't know, 10 miles over. Oh, I'm always 10 miles over, but I, I, I don't get, I'm, I'm a good driver. Yeah, I'm an excellent driver. Because you're in Arizona, Bianca, right? Yeah. I used to live in Arizona. The traffic is already fast out there. Well, I think that's, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, your freeway is always fast. What do you drive, Leah? I drive um, a 2011 Audi Q5, and I keep my, I hate buying cars. I've only had two, and I keep them until they don't work anymore. And then That's um, right. And then we just bought, oh gosh, two years ago, no, a year ago or so, um, a Toyota Tundra. So, and I love that. I love that uh, car, too. So that is what I have. That's it. And for the most part, before that, I had a 1995 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, that my daughter crashed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, China, China. Well, that was the Jeep before the Jeep. Um, sorry, ah, was asking me. <laughs> I'm like, look at Reagan lurking in the background. Reagan's like, I know, I know. I have to be careful what I say. But Wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> and, then, and, and I'm going to tell you guys. So I bought, I bought the Q5 because it's smaller than the Q7 for this reason. Because it had a smaller. This was before I, you know, did furniture, and I bought it because there was only enough room for the people in my family. <laughs> Three kids in the back, two adults in the front. And I didn't have to drive anyone else anywhere. You're and funny. then I started doing furniture, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I should have bought the bigger car. Should have bought the bigger car. But that was why I bought it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like when you're the person that has the truck. Everybody wants to use your truck. Uh, yes. Yep. All right, I think I'm done with this I got one. The, I got three done. Oh, wow. Look at you. Yeah, you're fast. I love Latin floral transfer. I do, you too. Win. Oh, okay. that's so pretty. Oh, I like how you chopped it up, too, and you, like, cut it and made it different. Yeah, Amy. That's, that's nice. so pretty. What? Let's see the chair, Amy. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks I, good. I, I really I like add, the... I got to add Go some ahead. boost to the edges and some, some wax around it, but... Nice. Are you going to use that somewhere? Or are you going to sell it? I don't know. I always need this size what was that? for for desk. I don't know. I, <laughs> I keep it off. She's excited about it. <laughs> um, I'm always, you know, you get a vanity and they never come with chairs. Right. So I'll hold yeah. on to it probably and throw it with the vanity that comes in that doesn't have a chair. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. I like the way you think. That's so let's look at the comments. We have... Mary says her husband is 10 years older. He acts like he's still in first grade. Yeah, my <laughs> husband's say, same. Same. Uh, Cynthia's just looking for a hubby. Ooh. Victoria. Ooh, you go, girl. I married a younger man. That's hot. Oh, no, you go, hot, Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> so, um, Beth, my first husband and I made our wedding plans on our first date. Wow. Married almost 18 years when he died. So there you have wow. it. Sometimes when you know, you know. Yeah. My condolences, that. My condolences. Yes, that. Uh, Brittany drives Jeep Grand Cherokee, Cherokee Limited. We're in a Jeep family. Jeeps. Susan drives a Chevy Volt. Um, Beth, a Toyota RAV4. 
Um, yeah, and then a lot of a lot of love for for Amy. Looks awesome, Amy. Um, Joanne says, "Wow, that bottle, love it, Amy." The yeah, Amy, the blue, blue the blue on the bot bottle. Yeah, yeah, I was exactly. Just say that. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, Bianca, That's have you shown us what you're working on? A little bit. I've just been talking and kind of. Oh wow. I so. love that. That's perfect That's colors. That yeah. Yeah. I, mint the tulip. succulents look so pretty with that mint tulip. I know, doesn't it? Yeah. Here, I'll finish it and then I'll show you guys close up. Okay, what should we do? Question. All right, let's see. Hold on. Let me get that transparent. Okay. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find a good one. That was boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already did that. Hang on. I can go get cards for humanity if you want. <laughs> Please. All right. This is one. What celebrity designer would you want to redo your home? You. Me? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, You're I like so your funny. house. I like what you did there. You can just do mine. I don't I trust you. I don't want to think about it. Don't <laughs> ask me questions. Just make it pretty. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of black and white stripes. Amy, and I'll take a great job of colors, huh? Amy, how about you? Chip and Dwayne Gaines. When, yeah. when we built when we built our house, I went on um I watched their TV show or go on Pinterest, but on their TV show, I'd pause it, take a picture, print it out, and I hung it on the walls for my contractors. And so my oh, kitchen, wow. my kitchen was copied out of one of the episodes of Fixer Uppers down to me trying to find the lights to match. Everything's the same except for the hood. I didn't I didn't go to the copper hood. So Chip and Joanna Gaines all the way. I wow. I would die to have them decorate my house. Not That's cool things, though. But, yeah, that is cool. Uh -huh. yeah, your house is gorgeous too. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. You. what I've seen of it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's super awesome. So who's your yeah. decorator, Leah? Who would you pick? Oh, I would have to go with, um, I like the Property Brothers. I do. I think that they're like, they're like, they kind of got a lot going on and then they're glam, but it's not too much. Like, I just like them. I like them a lot. I love their show. I don't, and I don't really watch, I, I've only watched their show a little bit, like, but, um, yeah, because we've never really had TV. We've always just had, like, Netflix. Did you know um, their yeah. previous well, jobs, Leah, their previous no. jobs where they were professional clowns? Really? <laughs> That's so what cool. A, That's that. really cool. Well, Bianca, you made my night. I would, I would come and decorate your home in a minute. Well, and so but, Ashley, she's watching from YouTube. I would want Amy. I love her house. I just watched yeah. the video tour. Oh, thank you. And then a lot of people are agreeing with the um, Joanna fixer upper. Yeah. Um, Kim says property brothers. Okay, Michelle says, and then Kim says, I have my cabin. Why is it not showing? Here we go. I have my cabin design already in mind for Chip and Joanna. Nice. Oh, and then Cynthia. Cynthia says, oh my gosh. <laughs> They're hot. I love it. They are. All right. I have, I have another question for you guys. Yes. And I want your honest opinions. And everybody who's watching better answer. I think this is going to be good. Oh, Bianca, that's pretty. That's gorgeous. That's pretty. It's very pretty. I love it. All right. What part of life would you put a big warning label on? Part of life? Mm -hmm. What part life. of life? Anything. Like having kids, buying a house. Oh, having kids. Um, getting married. What would you put a big warning label on? Having kids. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough one. I, know, I know you're with me. I look, look, viewers, don't <laughs> judge me. Okay. I had one child. I was one and done. I am not, I am not the most maternal. I, I'm, I'm laughing with her today. We laugh about it. But I'm like, I kept you alive. I did my job. <laughs> and when she hit teenagehood, that then, then we started to vibe. Yeah. You know, I felt like me, me and my daughter, we understood each other and we're great friends now. But when she was an adolescent, I just, I wasn't, Yeah, I kept, I kept her alive. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's all you can do. Sometimes. Yeah. 
I suppose, I mean, the, the warning label would be, yeah, it would be on kids because the kids, kids do, you know, before you have kids, you sit there and think, oh, how cute and how, you know, and when you have, you have them, you're, you can't believe the stuff that can happen. Uh -huh. I had my son, I had my son when we're at the mall, when he was like three years old, two years old, um, he actually took off from my arm, started running. And got into, you know, in a mall, they have those kiosks, you know, where they sell stuff in like little booths in the center of an aisle of a mall. There was one called the Golden Chain Gang where they sell gold chains. No one was working there that day. They were on break and they turned their overhead lights off. He went under the counter, got away from me, ran under the counter, was in the kiosk with the golden chains, turning on their lights that, for, that said their store name. <laughs> and... I had people helping me try to scare him over the counter so he'd run to me and he would scare them back. And, and, they, and, they, and then he kept on saying, I'm in trouble. And I'm like, yeah, you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. That's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> Well, That's and they're good. just like kids are just, they're a lot. I don't know that, like, I know for me, I didn't realize exactly how much, and I had my child young, of course, but, um, you know, I didn't really realize how much they require. Um, and yeah, they're just a lot, you know? And so I had my one and I was so blessed because she's truly a very good girl. Um, you know, I never really had any major problems with her, thank goodness. Um, right. and, and she's almost 18, so that's good. Um, she's turned into quite the young lady. Well, quite, we're proud I'm quite of proud her. of her. We're so proud of her. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful yeah, young lady too. I yeah, saw pictures on your page. Oh, thank you. She's a mini you for sure. Yeah. People say that, and then they see her dad, and they're like, "Oh no, she's spitting oh. over him." <laughs> yeah. It's funny how kids can look so much like their mom and their dad. Like Reagan looks a lot like Kurt's side, but then when she, she's by me, we look so much alike oh, too. I think she looks like Kurt. Yeah, she looks a lot like her. And then mm -hmm. she has a cousin who's four months younger, and people confuse them for twins all the time. Oh, how funny. Yeah, and they tell people that they're twins, too. Oh, cute. Why not? They, Play they it actually, up. They actually told their Girl Scout leader that, um, that, that they're actually twins. They're actually real sisters, but... Um, but one of, one of their moms couldn't have a baby. So that, that, um, that she just gave the twin to the other mom, like my sister-in-law, like, and they wouldn't tell which one it was, but one of us, one of us couldn't have a baby. So we get, they, the, the other mom gave the twin to the sister and then we both had a baby. So they're not cousins. They're actually <laughs> sisters. That's so, clever. That's, it is. Yeah, that's it their is. story. And I'm like, so which one had the baby? We're not telling. I'm like, yeah. okay, well, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, All goodness. Right. All right. So we're kind of, we're coming on an hour here. Um, oh. I'm, yeah, I don't know if there's someone on after us. There usually is. So I'm You finished. are correct. I am going to, you guys, our whole goal here tonight was to show you guys like some thrifts where um, we actually, I mean, I'm gonna, this will be for sale. Um, so cute, I love that. Just a cute little way to flip something for your own home decor or to oh, I sell. Love it. Thank you. Uh, that's really good. Thank you. Um, um, your guys' is all, are awesome too. So we're gonna post them on our pages, I'm sure throughout the next couple weeks, right? Yeah. If I ever finish it, apparently I'm the slow one of the group. <laughs> <laughs> but we just want to say thank you guys for watching Flip That Thrift. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be just posting on our pages. I don't know if we're going to come together with a collaborative post, but um, for the most part, I think we'll just post on our own, right? Yeah. With what we you finished. guys want to see a collab. Maybe we'll do a collab. I like that. Okay. It might be fun to tie, put a nice little bow on this. A little bow on the package. A, a nice little bow on the package. I like it. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching. Yes, um, thank you. Yes, thanks, everybody. And thanks, Leah, for letting us have your time slot. Oh, absolutely. That's Anytime. Your, your, and, then, and then Bianca, our guru of all things technical, technological, <laughs> whatever, um, <laughs> Bianca put together the video at the beginning, the, all the graphics, uh, she did all of she that. She does all of it. 
so yeah, we have to thank Bianca too for all of her technology skills. Oh, well, thank thank you. you. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. love you both. Oh yeah, we love you too. And we love all of you. Thank you everyone thank for you watching guys for and being and here joining. and for engaging and all of that. I can't wait to go back and read some of the comments. I know that we missed a lot. Um, you guys, <laughs> it's good getting to know all of you too. It is. All right. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye everybody. <laughs>